crime. Well, perhaps you ought to brush up on the laws in this county. Because the Buggery Act of 1789 has never been repealed. Huh. Mm -hmm. You're not going to convict him on a 225-year-old law. It's an issue of character, and I bet you I can find 12 men and women who feel the exact same way. Why do you even care? Because we're talking about a man's life. Why don't you head on back to New York, counselor? It's not your problem anymore. Actually, it is. And it's going to be your problem, too, because I'm staying. Oh. Well, in that case, you're welcome to spend the night with me. You should know the Buggery Act is seldom enforced. No. No. Absolutely not. I will not let this one get away. Well, right now, all you have is circumstantial. I know Larry didn't do it, and I will have the evidence to prove it. I don't think either of those things is true. You have what we call in the South a turd, and I'm afraid this case is unwinnable for you. We'll let the jury decide. And how do you think the jury will react to a man who loves his skate key more than he loves his wife? It's a custom-made German skate wrench, and I hate that I know that. But I do believe in my client and my case, so no deal on the plea. If you want to make DA, find someone else to kill. Well, if you change your mind, here's my number. Call me if you ever want to come over and see the honeypot. How do you even sleep at night? Over the sheets, white cotton briefs, men's dress shirt, and button down to here. You're weird. Hey, here, what is this? Hey, what are you doing here? Ah, it's very clever. See, you heard I was coming over, so you put up a fake case board. <laughs> Joke's on you. That board's real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, thank you, Dwayne. Could you please mm -hmm. come into my office? Mm -hmm. I just came over to give you this. It's a murder book. As you know, I'm obligated to give you all the evidence we have on your client. Careful, it's heavy. It's not heavy. You just gave it to me weird. Oh, and as a bonus, I put a little section in the back summarizing your experience in murder trials. It's blank. Well done. Admit it, Counselor, you are way out of your league no, here. No, you are, as you'll soon discover when you see the giant bombshell we're about to drop. You talking about your DNA expert? Certainly not. Why? How did you know about that? Small town. People talk. People whisper. What's happening? By the way, I find it very suspicious that the assistant DA would come all the way over here just to drop off a murder book. Well, actually, I came over here on other business as well. Hey, Ann. Ann. Carolyn Keene. Hey, listen. I want Pinky here stuffed, put in a little rocking chair, reading a book. Oh, I think that is an adorable idea. No, it's not. That is a horrifying idea. Have fun stuffing my pig. You know, this is a law office. Josh. Oh, excuse me. Do you hear that? What's that noise? I just turned your lead investigator into a suspect. Rucker was my lover. Wow, that kind of ruins it for me. Yeah, we dated on and off for about five years. I was waiting for him to leave his wife. He always had a ticky-tack excuse, like, oh, it'll destroy my career. I can't do that to the kids. My wife has a debilitating disease. Those don't sound ticky-tack. Don't judge me, Counselor. This town has a very shallow dating pool. Especially if you're like me and you rule out first cousins. It's one of the few costs of living in a small town, but I have learned to deal with it and move on like a grown-up. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. It makes you feel better. I just broke off an engagement for that exact reason. Really? You were cheated on? Probably because you're softer than a possum belly. I'm definitely not soft. Then why don't you fire your team? I mean, come on. You've got an assistant who can't recognize faces, and your lead detective is searching for tissue paper with his drawers around his ankles. Little help? I'll have you know, Anne is the one who identified Rutger. Mm. And Dwayne is my date for Bunkin' Fest. Shoot. I'm supposed to go to that with Rutger. And I'm going to be alone on the most romantic day of the year. Oh, God, can't believe I trusted that son of a bitch. 
I've also been told I'm too trusting. If you believe Larry Henderson is innocent, then you definitely are. Okay. You hold on right there. Look at that face. Is this the face of a man capable of murder? And what is that? It is a book of poetry. It's either over my head or it is really bad. But I can tell you, this man definitely did not kill his wife. We will see. Here's to finding someone worthy of our trust. Possum Belly. Getting me liquored up so that you could steal evidence? Really? Is that what you need to do to win your case? Well, it's not my fault you've got the tolerance of a nine-year-old girl. I actually scratched that. My niece is nine and she could drink you under the table. You know, I know you think you've got me pegged, but... You don't know me. Oh, I think I do. I think you're a boy who's out of his league. You've got no case, no experience. And worst of all, I'm in your head. Maybe you're right. I did believe you when you said you were looking for someone you could trust. And there was a moment last night when I thought that Rucker Hiss has got to be the dumbest guy in the world. And here he's got this smart interesting gorgeous woman and he blew it and i thought to myself if i could ever get lucky enough to get a girl like you i would never let you out of my sight now i'm in your head damn it that is adorable Hey, Caroline Keene. Tough loss today. Oh, this is far from over. When I find that walking stick he used to kill his wife, he's gonna fry and I'm gonna make sure you have a front row seat. Hey, what are you doing here? I hope you're happy. Now that Mr. Davis has been named a person of interest, he can't fund my campaign for DA. I actually am happy. You know what, you think you're one step ahead of me, but I can assure you, you are not. Contrary to local opinion, I am not sexually frustrated. Who says you're sexually... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. You don't want him to take the test because there's a part of you that's afraid he may have done it. Why don't you want him to take it? Oh, my God, there's a part of you that thinks he didn't do it. It's nonsense. I'm not nervous at all. Me neither. I'm not a liar. Okay, Larry, for the hundreds of people watching at home, did you kill your wife, Margaret Henderson? I did not. Gus? He's telling the truth. Wow. That was exciting. <sighs> Holy moly, that is some freaking momentum. Mm, does it matter? It's inadmissible and you know it. Only makes me want to fight harder. And now you'll have to. See you in court. Oh, yes, you will. We should probably let go. I already did. Larry. Excuse me, you can't just barge in here unannounced. What would you do if I was taking a bath? Why would you be taking a bath in your office? Well, answer the question. What would you do if you came in here and you found me taking a bath? I, uh... Oh, I have no... I mean, this place is implumped Oh, for my that. God. Mona's gone. What do you want? I need your help. Why would I possibly help you? Because Mankiewicz wants Larry to plead insanity. And if he does, that means no death penalty, which means you don't get to be DA. I will not let that happen, Counselor. I have worked way too long and hard to let that crackpot rob me of my legacy while he dies a natural death in a loony farm. And it looks like you and I find ourselves on the same side. So if you've been withholding any evidence, it would be very helpful to the both of us if you turned it over now. How dare you accuse me of such impropriety? You told me to picture you in a bath. A bubble bath, more bubble than bath. You are not professional. Now, please, is there anything that may have slipped through the cracks? I heard tell of a video of Rucker Hiss taken before you put him in a coma. Coma wasn't my fault. Go on. I may have a thumb drive which might contain said video of Detective Hiss, who may have been interrogating Larry the night of the murder, who might not have had counsel present. Possibly 
You could get in a lot of trouble for that. I may not have it then. Fine, can't get in trouble for it. Oh, look, here it is. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry I called you unprofessional. Oh, and one more thing, counselor. If you're looking for this something This is a slip through the cracks anyway. I really don't have time. Carry on, then. Oh, hey. What are you doing here? I came to retrieve the thumb drive you stole. You mean the thumb drive you've been hiding in your drawer? You have no idea what's going on inside my drawers. <sighs> here. Oh, you are so incapable of being real. It's too bad, too, because I, I actually enjoyed being on the same side for once. Look, you and I are adversaries. Nothing more. Anything beyond that would be completely inappropriate. Inappropriate? Like those personal pictures on that thumb drive? That folder was labeled, do not open. If you didn't want me to open it, you wouldn't have labeled it then. Did we like what we saw? We did. I mean, you should probably keep your electronics, like, a little further away from the bathtub. But, yeah, it was, it was, they were, it was all very good. Mm -hmm. I think this is verging on inappropriate. I agree. You should probably go. I probably should. Mm. Popped up on the prosecution's witness list. Rutger Hiss. He's a potential suspect that could totally damage her case. I'm, I'm gonna drop by and see what she's up to. Hopefully she understands that this is purely a professional visit. What do you need? Okay, she understands. Counselor? Counselor, did you come here for a reason? Yes, I was in the neighborhood and I wanted to see what witnesses you were giving a lap dance to. Oh, don't get weird about it. Rutger and I are back together. I thought you hated him. We worked it out. Well, I think you're making a huge mistake. Oh, I see how it is. I gave you a cookie and now you want the whole jug of milk. Joke's on you because I'm lactose intolerant. And I know that's not sexy, but... This isn't about me being hung up on you. Good, because what you and I had was purely physical. I had a need and you were there. Same here. You were there too. I actually forgot it even happened. The mistake I was talking about was putting Rutger on the stand. I am going to destroy him on cross. The way we destroyed that condom. Hey, should we talk about that? No, we're good. See you in court. Hey, wait up. Did you come here to rub it in my face? No, I came to say I'm sorry about Rutger. I know you had a thing with him, for reasons I will never, ever understand. Do not pity me. I'm a grown woman. I can take care of myself, which I'm about to do, as you want to come upstairs and let me rub it in your face. Wow, that is dirty. But I'm going to pass, maybe after the trial. After the trial, you go home. I'll be stuck here trying to find a date for the pecker bowl. Go peckers! Shut up! Anyway, why don't you go on home and rest on your tiny laurel? Trust me, today was only a minor setback for me. I don't think so. In fact, I think we turned a corner, and people are going to see Larry for who he really is. Oh, God. OK, that one was me. See you in court. I've got in-laws coming into town, and they cannot stay at my place. Since Mr. Prefontaine's injuries will be preventing him from testifying for at least two more days, I'd like to suggest that we use that time to take the jury to visit the crime scene. I'm okay with that. You are? What is your game? You requested it. What's your game? You know what my game is. Maybe I don't have a game. Here. I know what you did. You took down all the pictures of the penises and whips and buttocks and whatnot. Yes, you see what you want to see. Oh, I'm going to make sure the jurors see exactly what I want them to see. And you too, counselor. This skirt is tight and these steps are steep. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> now, who wants to see the murder bed? Excuse me. What? I wasn't... What are you doing? I'm just stretching, counselor. Don't get any ideas. I won't, but you're lying in my client's bed. And that makes your lewd assumptions okay? No means no. You didn't say no. Hmm. I didn't, did I? Hey, throw me the ball. I know you're trying to paint your client in a different light, but it's going to take a lot more than planning some football pennants and beer nuts and mechanics magazines. I actually didn't plant that. Doesn't matter. The jury will see who your client really is. That's my goal. John! Don't be Larry, don't be Larry, don't be Larry. Good morning, counselor. 
I'm very excited to see who you're feeding to me on the stand today. Bon appetit. Hmm. That's it? Where's the girl? If you're referring to Summer, I'm saving the best for last. There's actually been a development. Well, why don't we move over to my couch and you can fill me in. You know the cameras are still in here. I don't mind. Huh. This list is ridiculously small. Well, unlike you, I don't need 28 days to make my case. Speaking of 28 days, how are we doing with that? Two days late, but I'm sure it's too stress. Good. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> Counselor, I'd like to pass on some advice. What is going on with you? You're better than normal. I have a minor rash due to a food allergy. Not at all related to the stress of the trial. <clears throat> Besides, would you ask that question to a man? Part of that man's neck just flaked off in front of me. I would advise you not to put your client on the stand today. It will not go well. This verdict is inevitable. But your reputation is still salvageable. Why would I believe a word you say? You shouldn't. And that's by design. Which way am I coming from, Josh? Which way? I literally just saw that rash jump onto your ear. Call a doctor. Which way? Which way? I wrote to Margaret, and one for every Friday, because that was the day we met. Wow. You two were lucky to have each other. I am so sorry for your loss. No further questions. I'll be right back. You come over to congratulate me? Why, you're not pregnant, are you? <laughs> Seriously, are you? Relax, I don't have a bagel in the oven. Offensive, but reassuring. I know how badly you want a death sentence, but I also know that you are a kind person deep down. Please, show some mercy. All right, the jury on sentencing. Your Honor, the people would like to amend its recommendation from death to life in prison without parole. Wait, what? Seriously? You've been trying to kill this man for six months. Maybe I was bluffing. Mr. Henderson. You... We need to talk. Well, look who came back. Kitten's still smitten. Why'd you get rid of the hair? Some men like it that way. Not what I meant, but... Yes, I'm talking about the gray hairs found at the crime scene. Anything found at the crime scene was in the murder book. Really? Mm -hmm. Because that page is conveniently missing from my murder book. How dare you come in here fully aroused, accusing me of such awful things. I'm not aroused at all. Then you're of no use to me. Okay, maybe you didn't take the page, but I do think that you think Larry might be innocent, and that is why you didn't go for the death penalty. I know this was a tough loss for you, but I've moved on. If I came, you came. Well, guess what? I can't. Margaret Henderson was killed by an owl. I think an autopsy will prove that the marks on her head were caused by talons. Oh, bravo. Your Honor, please. Seriously, please, I need this. In light of this new evidence, I order Larry Henderson to be released pending a new trial, unless the state would like to drop the charges. Fine. The state will drop the charges. Thank you. Oh, shut up. I should have killed him when I had the chance. Mm -hmm.